from MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. This is the National Football League. We'll see Daniel Jones and the New York Giants taking on Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals. We welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This is the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up with the Arizona Cardinals. Time Panther Graham Gano has a set for a start as we are underway from MetLife Stadium. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Cardinals coming out led by Kyler Murray, the offensive rookie of the year a season ago, and back for more here in year number two. I still remember being in Indianapolis at the Combine when the result of Kyler Murray's height was announced. And when the tape measure showed him at a little bit above 5'10", all doubts went out the window, and rightly so. The Cardinals went 5-10 and won with him last year, but he was the NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year. This guy can make great plays with his arm, can scoot with his feet, and has motivated this team and has him on a really good upward trajectory. And they'll begin by running the option. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. You often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Murray, a give. This is Drake. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's Drake. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. On second down now, it's Drake. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 yards there, first down. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. So the drive takes them into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Running, it's Drake. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Blake Martinez, second in the league in tackles last year, gets another there. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. 
A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. From the gun, Murray sliding out of the pocket. He can run for it, and he will. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. First down, Murray. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Running from the shotgun with Drake, and he'll get three out of the 34-yard line. Ben, in all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive. But this is third down. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And he'll go underneath here to Drake. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. On fourth down, here's Zane Gonzalez for the Cardinal field goal. On the left hash, this from 48 yards. And it bangs off the left upright and deflects away. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. Well, that hollow metal sound is the bane of any kicker's existence. And here, that sound is going to keep our game scoreless. And you can see him give that body English as the ball was in the air. Come on, baby. Come on. But no dice that time. Good starting field position for the New York Giants here as they come up first and 10 at their 38. A first carry for the Clemson man, Wayne Gallman. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Operating from the gun, Jones. And that will be incomplete. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down.
Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Deep for the Cardinals, Christian Kirk. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Cards will take over, first and 10. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they were in field goal range the last time out but couldn't connect. And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and set it for field goals. On first and 10, here's Murray. And his throw here is incomplete. The tight end, Max Williams, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball. But surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. <laughs> Throwing again, Murray. Forced out to his left. He'll try and run it. The improv act there, good for nine. And now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Five in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. Shotgun now for Murray. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The defense surrenders a 13-yard pass play there on third and one. We're scoreless after one. Cardinal football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. On second and one, Murray. He gets it into the hands of Larry Fitzgerald. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. When we think about these two franchises, the Cardinals and the Giants, so much riding on their young quarterbacks. And they were the first two QBs taken in the draft back in 2019. Murray first to the Cardinals, and Daniel Jones six to the Giants. Murray throwing complete there to Hopkins. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll run with Drake. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. On second down, it's Drake. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. But you talked about the need for them to establish the run early. They've been able to do that here in the first half. And that means 
that the whole offense has adopted that attitude and that persona. We're going to take care of this young quarterback. Let's all get together and run it and take the pressure off. First down, Drake. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now a handoff for Drake. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. The Cardinals on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. From the gun, Murray. And he's got Fitzgerald. And the Cardinals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A reminder coming up at halftime. We'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half. And our highlights will likely be on the deep. And Fitzgerald has got it. Touchdown, Cardinals. Four yards on the touchdown grab as his guys are first onto the scoreboard here this afternoon. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. And the Cardinals will go up 7 to nothing. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. You can't block me. You can't block me. Throwing on first down. Jones, open target here, Darius Slayton. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Jones signaling, let's go, let's go. Try to get his guys up to the line. Oh. 
His throw incomplete. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Operating from the gun, Jones looking for Tate, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Byron Murphy, and they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Gonzalez now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. New York ready to go again offensively. And in a spot like this, still more than a minute, I think if you put something on the board before halftime, that would go a long way towards helping them get back into the game. There actually is something to the psychology of the game at times, isn't there? How much better would they feel running into the locker room, as you noted, with something on the board in a positive fashion? You're exactly right. It's a great opportunity to get that done. Jones throwing after the interception. Looking for Shepard deep. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The Alabama man, Dre Kirkpatrick, there on the coverage. I believe I'm following their logic. Take the big shot downfield, loosen things up. You're hoping to get some points on the board before the half. Maybe now you come back and throw some underneath stuff in order to make sure you get a completion. Here's Jones, throwing again on second and 10. Finds his tight end, Ingram. The Cardinals gonna use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four yard completion. From the gun, Jones, and Ingram holds it in. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. It's complete to Golden Tate. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. 
as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the gun, Jones. And he hits the running back, Deion Lewis. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. That's complete to Slayton. The Giants gonna burn their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. They'll try the field goal now with Graham Gano. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know. But they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. On the return, here's Edmonds. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee, and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. Now, Deion Lewis to return. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The New York set to take the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 27. And right away, he'll look to throw. 
And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. The linebacker, Jordan Hicks, flying in there for the sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Now a carry for the shifty Deion Lewis. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. And Thomas seems to be in some pain. He's still on the ground. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, Jones. Got a man, Slayton. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Shotgun handoff for Lewis. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Throwing on second and eight, Jones. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A first down there on a pickup of 25. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Yeah, he's got it. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try to pound it in with Goldman, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Giants able to get this back within a touchdown. And Charles, he's able to dive in there in a short yardage situation. Just find a place to get to the end zone. Didn't matter where it was, but once he did, used his nose for the end zone and dove in. The giant offense going to stay on the field as they'll go for two. Jones now. 
Operating from the gun. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. the gun. Murray looking left side and he's got a man. That's Drake. The completion but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards and now they're dealing with a second and long. Well I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah in that situation <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah how about that. Although they won't get the same credit for it and it won't help them at contract time. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. Single, single. Watch one, watch one. Operating from the gun. Murray stepping up. He's going to keep it. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On the give, this is Drake. Now Drake loses the football. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. We just saw the dilemma for every coach. You want them to fight for the extra yardage, but somehow continue to cover the football. Oftentimes when you fight that hard, the ball becomes exposed. Defensively, it's obvious they're trying to be more aggressive. First tackle a little too aggressive. Second one, though, they strip it loose. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm going I wouldn't change it. it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Now Jones. Following the fumble recovery, he'll throw. Over the middle, he's got his tight end, Ingram. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. From the gun, Jones. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game, and there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. Throwing on second and long. Jones, that's complete left side to Shepard. 
And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Operating from the gun, Jones. It's brought in left side by Tate. And they'll get this across midfield, but not nearly close to a first down as he stopped at the 48. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The football going back over to Arizona now. And yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead, you got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case though, giving up the football, doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll throw from the gun. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team that had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Murray, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Murray with a third and long. Able to find a seam for 14 yards, but still now facing a fourth down after the scramble. Well, it's not going to be a first down, but that's a nice job of picking up yardage on third and long. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you, and in this case, it wasn't enough to pick up the first down. Here's Andy Lee now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. 
Goldman will run it. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. The Giants on third down, two for five to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll try to run for it. Lewis, and he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. It'll be a pickup of just two, and it's going to yield a new set of downs. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. Jones on first and 10. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Check, 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 check. Now Jones. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. From the gun, Jones. Escaping the pressure right. Got some room at the 30. A breakdown defensively there as the scramble is going to set him up with a much more manageable third down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Operating from the gun, Jones steps away to his left. He may try and run for this. And he will have a Giants first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but... It's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. A couple of first downs have them to the 40 now on first and 10. From the gun, Jones. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Tate. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10, right at the 40. Operating from the gun, Jones. He'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Three yards the gain there, second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Here's Jones. 
Off the play fake. He's going to let one fly for Tate. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Jalen Thompson picks it. a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. So good field position for the Cardinals as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Drake will start the drive on the ground. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And it'll be a second and long. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Right back to Drake. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Murray to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down. They needed four, he doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. This is Chase Edmonds who played his college ball in the Bronx at Fordham. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground and he'll take this one down to about the 40. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness that time the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself and that's why he was able to break through and get the game that he did. to throw Murray oh no he lost the football and the Giants have it it's picked up and they take possession of the football and have it at the 36 yard line there are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time one starts with a B one starts with an S ball security and they preach it they, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms right you see the signs they talk about it all the time but still when you've got defenders out there who are preaching Hey, we're going to take the ball away from you. No matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 36-yard line. 
Following the fumble recovery. Jones out to the right here to Shepard. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Counting down to 30 seconds remaining. He'll look to throw. Flushed out right. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Catch made by Slayton. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Well, Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity. Just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we sign off from MetLife Stadium.